Hello, lovely people! Welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penge, and with Abandoned Ship now available in early access, I thought we'd just take a quick look at the two game modes that are available in the game. So, as it stands right now, there are two ways to play Abandoned Ship. You can either do the story mode or the combat campaign. First, let's take a look at the story mode. So, story mode is the more complete way to play the game. It combines some storytelling elements, exploration, ship and crew maintenance, and of course ship combat. Lovely ship combat. I won't spoil the entire storyline here, but you find out early on that you're being chased by the cult. A group of mysterious crazy people who wear cloaks with hoods. The storytelling is either in the form of a full screen image with some tremendous artwork. There's some gorgeous artwork going on and text below it or it's in the form of a sort of parchment on screen like what you can see now. As you'd expect, the story parts move the storyline along. Exploration is done on a series of maps, which are very pretty indeed. They look very pretty. And you move between the maps via gates, which can be found around the edge of each map. These gates are locked, so to unlock them, you need to sail around the map, removing the sort of fog of war type thing as you go, and you find encounters, which you need to deal with. So these encounters could be things like ship combat, rescuing a stranded person, fighting with the monstrous Halifron, which are like spiny sea monsters, or just some plain old ship evasion, so some running away. If you take too long sailing around the map, then eventually the cult catch up with you and they'll either send a ship to fight you, some Halifron to board the ship, or they could send the dreaded Kraken. When you've dealt with enough of these encounters, you'll be able to open a gate to move to another map and the storyline continues with you moving along and doing what's required to progress. At various points on the maps, you might find yourself at a port where you can repair and upgrade your ship and also hire new crew members if you want to. Your ship can be fitted with more weapons, so there's different weapons that all have different effects, like acid mortars that damage crew within a certain radius, or flamethrowers that obviously start fires. Or you can buy ship upgrades such as lifeboats, hull armor, hull spikes, which are quite good if you want to ram into the other ship because it causes more damage, that sort of thing. The crew you can hire are split across five different types. So there are navigators, gunners, sailors, marines, and medics, all of which are better at specific roles across the ship. So for example, the gunner can arm weapons quicker, the sailor can repair things quicker. So it depends how you want to run your ship and how you want to do your combat, your ocean combat. But uh, yes, you need to pick your crew to sort of suit your play style. And then there's the ship combat, which I think, if we're all being perfectly honest, is the big draw of the game. The exploration mode is lovely, the storyline is good, but the ship combat is where this game really is focused. So you face off against another ship, you try to defeat them by either reducing their hull to zero or killing all of the enemy crew, but obviously they are trying to do the same to you. So you have to manage your crew well in order to claim victory. So they're going to be firing at the enemy ship and dealing with all the damage that's being caused and all the fires and hull breaches and all that kind of stuff. And I think that is it for the story mode. So you work your way through the maps, you deal with the encounters, you go to the ports, you engage in the ship battles, or the Kraken battles if it comes to it, or the Halifron fights, because the Halifron swim through and board your ship, so you have to deal with them sort of in a hand-to-hand -hand kind of skirmish, and you move the storyline along as required. Moving on to the combat campaign now. So, the combat campaign does have a loose sort of storyline behind it, which is about finding your kidnapped sister. But that's really just a front, I think, for a series of 10 ship battles in a row against ships of increasing strength. As you progress through these ship battles, you'll acquire loot, which you can use when you return to ports in between battles, but you are only allowed to return to port five times in the series of 10 battles. So you need to be quite tactical about when you return to port to carry out repairs and upgrade your ship and hire a new crew and all that stuff. So you don't want to do it too early and then not actually buy anything or not upgrade the ship because then later on you might need to repair your hull and you will have ran out, ran out of trips to port. So you might be on the last battle, you can't go and repair your ship or buy anything new. And then obviously that will put you at a massive disadvantage. So yes, those, um, those five trips to port are indeed quite tactical. Also, as you work your way through the campaign, there'll be different environmental situations for you to deal with, such as fog, which as you might expect impairs visibility, there's ice, which damages your hull, and there are rough seas, which can cause huge waves to wash the crew overboard if they are not braced in time. So, whilst there is a story behind the combat campaign, it really is, in essence, just a series of 10 sequential battles, each getting more difficult for you to work through. And that's no bad thing. It is very good, and it's very, very hard. 
it's very difficult. The AI is quite unforgiving in the combat campaign. The AI does not care. They will knock your people overboard, they will snipe them, they will set you on fire and break your hull open all at the same time. So yeah, it's very, very difficult, which is good. It's good because it's a challenge and everyone loves a challenge. And that is our brief look at Abandoned Ships 2 game modes. It's out now on Early Access on Steam. A link to the Steam Store page is in the description of this video, so go and check it out if you are interested. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. If it was, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe as we will be doing a full series of Abandoned Ship Early Access. So by subscribing, you can keep up to date with that series and all the other stuff that we do as well. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Covered and I will see you next time. We need loads of it. More resin, more. Oh, scanning. Blip, 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 scanning. Where's the way out? Oh no, I'm gonna run out of oxygen and die. They sound like proper killy, killy death rocks, they do. It's a watermelon. The bloody hell's that supposed to be? So when you fall down a big hole, you tend to die.